Well, actually, I don't do too much cooking uh, around the house, but on a hunting trip, you should see the fantastic meals I can prepare out under the stars. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I don't really know what we have in the kitchen, but my housekeeper always keeps a few things in, in the refrigerator, and, and hopefully you can make something. I mean, if you need something, then we will order in. All right, you store. go ahead, go ahead. I'll take care of everything. Go on. are you carrying on about? I am surrounded by incompetence, a damn lawyer, to believe that he tells me that there's no legal way that I can force that son-in-law of mine to let me see my daughter. Imagine, I'll bring him up on charges of kidnapping, alienation of affection, anything else. Oh, that'll be else. really wonderful. And then none of us will get to see Nina. Now, you have got to stop it and understand that Cliff has every right to be angry with you still. Oh, uh, if he thinks he's angry now, wait until I have him thrown in jail. Then he'll be angry. What do you want? Excuse me, sir, but uh, Dr. Warner is outside. He said it's urgent to speak with you. Oh, well, by all means, send him in. We wouldn't want to keep the vindictive Dr. Warner waiting, would we? Yeah, thank you, Sloan. That'll be all. All right, Warner, what is it? I'm a busy man. Oh, trust me, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Nina. Is she all right? Anything's happened to my daughter. It'd be your it. fault, wouldn't it? Now, Daisy, she's fine. I mean, she, she's stable. Only she's asked to see her father. Oh, so you're not content to make me miserable. You're going to make her pine. No, no, I wouldn't do that to Nina. I, I put my happiness after hers. Which is why I'm going to let you see her. Which is very generous of you. <laughs> don't bother, don't bother. He knows when he's beaten. Oh, believe me, I'm doing this for Nina, not for you. Oh, no, no. Why don't you just face it, Warner? Nina is not going to let you separate us. She isn't going to do that. She loves me. Then you better hope she never finds out what you're really like. Meantime, you've proved you can't be trusted alone with her. So I've ordered the hospital staff not to let you in her room without myself or Daisy or Dr. Gould. How dare you put restraints That's on it, me. Palmer. Take it or leave it. Dreams. Just what are you going to do when the time comes to pay the bill? Pay it. I have a job, Mrs. Wallingford. A job? Yes. Acting? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's hardly a fit occupation for a grown man. Well, it certainly pays well enough. As a matter of fact, I took the quite sizable advance they gave me on my salary and opened up a bank account for us. Oh. I'm yeah. going to take care of her, just like I promised. Hillary, back home here again within six weeks. Uh, that is, if she can scrape together the cab fare. What is it with you? What is it? Why, why are you so down on me? All I've tried to do ever since I've come back is try to make her happy. You know, if you really cared about her happiness, Tad, you'd have left her strictly alone. You see, you are an opportunist. Your only talent is in using other people. Besides that, you're lazy. You have no intellectual curiosity. You have certainly no morals. And your aesthetic sense is... I have a damn good eye for beauty. And as for my talents, they would certainly be wasted on you. <laughs> you know, you operate just like a gigolo. That's why you will never make Hillary happy. She loves me. Yes. But you'll kill that love. The very first time you are unfaithful to her. I'm not going to be unfaithful to her. I love her. Correction. You love yourself. And you haven't the spine to resist temptation. Any temptation. So, you're just like your father. Yeah. Your real father. You are loathsome, low-life, just like he was that Ray Gardner. And as for poor Opal, she has Look, look, just, just, if you can hate me, that's fine. I don't care. I'm going to prove you wrong. But don't start hammering on my mother. Oh, all right, save your energy. Because you're going to need all of it if you're ever going to prove anything to me. Yeah, yeah, you remember that I'm allowing you to accompany me under protest. You're lucky to be here. Hi, Nina. Uh, how are you? Father! Oh, it's so good to see you. Why didn't you come see me before? Well, darling, you've been so ill, we didn't want to burden you with too many visitors. Oh, but even Benny came to yes. see me. Look, he brought me a tape recorder with oh, tapes. Oh, that's very thoughtful. 
Yes, well, now, darling, you're really looking pretty well. Yes, we've been worried. Monique and I have all been worried about you. No. Listen, Nina has already had uh, one visitor here. She needs some rest. We'd better make this pretty short. Oh. But you just got here. Well, darling, we wouldn't want to tire you. Oh. Dr. Warner, would it be all right if I saw my father alone for a minute? I mean, especially because we only have a short time. I'll be right outside. Thank you. I'm glad he left. Yeah. He hasn't been bothering you, has he? Oh, no, no, oh, Father. He's a very good doctor. Mm -hmm. I just think he has a crush on me. What? What do you mean? Well, he comes by a lot, and, and he brought me a rose. And the way he looks at me. Oh, I think he's just trying to take good care of you. Well, you're probably right. I wouldn't mind, though, anyway. <laughs> he has beautiful blue eyes. Yeah. So is Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, that reminds me. I'm going to bring you some tapes from home. Oh, okay. I'll write a list up. Mm -hmm. And don't you worry about Dr. Warner, Father. He's a good doctor, and I don't think he let anything happen to me. Listen. Nobody's going to let anything bad happen to you at all, especially me. Now, you just rest and relax, and you think about getting better. Oh, I, I missed you at breakfast. I had an early class. Well, I... I just wanted to thank you for being so kind last night. I, I know you hadn't the slightest interest in attending that Women of the Year award party. That's, that's why it was so thoughtful of you to come and, and escort me home. Kind? Thoughtful? Phoebe, I meant every word. I love you, dear, whatever our differences. Oh, Langley, and I love you, too. You know, before you came to rescue me, I, I felt so lonely, so lost, so abandoned. I don't think I can ever tell you what it meant to me. Don't you know I'll always be there? Oh, I do hope so. And in that spirit, I, I want to call a truce. Oh, I know I've been very hard on you, I know that, but... Well, you have to admit, in all fairness, that it wasn't without cause. All I know is that I've missed you terribly. Oh, dearest. And I've missed you. So I'm going to put you back on stipend. Well, that, of course, makes life easier. And I don't want you to think that uh, I don't appreciate or rather welcome a resumption of a closer relationship between us. However, I really must insist, Phoebe, that any financial arrangements you deem appropriate be made irrevocable. Irrevocable? I, I don't understand. Well, every time you impound my finances, I feel as though I'm a schoolboy with his, his allowance stripped. It's very degrading. Well, maybe if you stopped acting like a schoolboy, it wouldn't happen. But that's not for you to judge, Phoebe. I'm your husband, not your ward. Well, I shall certainly continue to judge you as far as your actions, as far as my money is concerned. I... Oh, really, like the very idea. And here I thought you, you actually wanted me back. I don't even get to become her friend. She they always thinks I'm trying to turn her into some kind of surrogate daughter. Well, it shouldn't be that way for long. I and mean, she's already heard the truth once. Yeah. Look what it did to her. Well, with that European doctor back here, I, I bet she'll be cured in no time. She looks better. Yeah, she's recovering satisfactorily. How long do you think it'll be before she recovers completely? That is, from surgery. I'm not sure. Well, a day, a week, a month, a minute, come At the rate, she's improving every week. Huh. Well, it's my experience that a patient will recover more quickly if in a home environment. Well, not in this case. Why not? It was her home environment that put her in this hospital in the first place. All right. All right. 
So she stays in the hospital until she fully recovered. But then she comes home. What makes you so sure? Because she'll want to. You saw what happened when you tried to separate the two of us. She'll want to come home. Dr. Wald, Dr. Gould and I will decide where she lives when she leaves here. We'll give you every consideration. Well, she's not going to live with you. She doesn't even know who you are. You're just not the doctor to her. If you try to force yourself on... Just get out of here, will you? Leave now, or you're not going to visit her again. No, you got quick. that? I make the... Well, I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, nothing of any consequence. Now, this runt is trying to threaten me. He said, oh, why do I bother talking to you? You're all alike. I mean, you just go running along with the rest of them. You're quacks, quacks, all of you, quacks. Hello? Yes, yes. This is my call from Tibet. Yes. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Yes, Jeremy. Hi. How are you? The same as when we talked last night. Listen, you're going to run up a fortune in telephone bills. Oh, I don't care. Darling, when are you leaving for the Lamasary? Well, any, any time now. Th then it's definite. Then you, you really want to be released from your vow? Yes, I want. I want us to be together in every way. And we will be. Nothing can keep us apart now. I'll get it, Josh. Come in, Mr. Barnes. I'm glad you could drop by. Uh, here, right this way. You didn't come through with much information on the horn. But I am curious. What's on your mind? Yes, a little proposition for you. Could mean a great deal of money. All right, I'm interested. What's it about? It involves your friend, Jeremy Hunter. Well, surprise, surprise. Why are you taking my pulse? <laughs> you afraid our little tumble was too much for my heart? No, not since you're so improved now. Oh, love is the best therapy for a man. It keeps him young. You might have a point there. So stop sneaking up, taking my pulse whenever I'm asleep. Well, I'm just concerned about you, Alex, that's all. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to get dressed. Oh, no, 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 come on. What's no. your hurry? Oh, Alex, we have to put in an appearance. Mm. The hell with appearances. Well, really, we're guests here. We can't stay in bed all day long. What would Erica think? I know I shouldn't worry about your being into bed, but I just can't help it. Why? You know I had to come. I know. I just... I'm, I'm so afraid that you're going to remember the, the good life you had there in Tibet and that you're going to want to stay. I'm still so, so afraid of losing you. Darling, it will never happen. Please, I'm just, I'm lost without you. I'll be back as soon as Kantu releases me. When are you going to see him? You're not traveling alone, are you? No, no, a Sherpa will guide me. Well, please be careful. I will. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> 